Hi, Richard Kaplan here, StudioRatHQ.com, and we are going to demonstrate some miking techniques for a kick drum. Now, there are as many miking techniques for a kick drum as there are kick drums. What I'm going to show you first is the type of miking technique that we used on most heavy metal projects, such as corn, limp biscuits, slipknot, sepultura, etc. And that is where we would take an AKG D112, put it in through the hole, and get it as close to the beater head as possible, aimed right at the beater head. If you wanted to use a second mic, you could also put a mic on the other side near the beater head, but out of the way of the drummer. And oftentimes we would even build a tunnel from the front of the kick drum using packing blankets uh, supported by uh, bricks or whatever and have a third mic a couple of feet out, oftentimes a condenser mic. But the main mic, the mic that you really hear in the records, is this one mic close to the kick drum head. The other mic used behind the kick drum was often what we called a battleship mic, which was the kind of mic used on a military ship near the gunnery uh, section that would withstand the intense level of the kick drum. This AKG D112 also seems to be able to tolerate the level. When putting a good condenser mic further out from the kick drum on a two or three mic setup, you want to make sure that that mic is far enough away that you're not distorting the capsule.